monkey. Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to get a good quality in your AMVs and it's pretty simple. Everything is gonna start with the most obvious uh, thing I guess and it's how to get good looking AMV clips um, and scenes and episodes and high resolution and I mainly use for that one three sources i will link you all in the description you can see it in the background right now it's the first one is anime raw's master list it's basically a list where you find every anime or nearly everyone um, and you can basically download the episodes and the openings credit lists uh, from there um, and it's pretty simple you just download it on mega and you can drag it in in your after effects and cut the scenes out you want. The second one is anime packlist. It's a packlist from weekly MV contest and it contains many anime packs which uh, include different scenes of every episode or nearly every episode of um, many anime. You can see it right here. Um, they have One Punch Man, My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan and you're basically able to download a pack where Scenes are already cut it um, to use and compressed, so you can just drag those scenes from nearly every episode of that anime in in your After Effects, and you have high resolution clips which are already cut it. I personally use um, only full episodes, so I don't often use this side, but it's it's really really good to know if you're a bit lazy or you haven't watched the anime so you don't know which episode I could use and then you can just download a scene pack. The next source I use is named Nia.c and it's basically a site where you can download torrents uh, of the episodes. Um, usually I only use it when I want an episode really fast and yeah they are already out if the episode is out so you can just search it. Um, uh, download the anime raw of that episode and then you have to convert it and drop it in After Effects and cut it out as uh, similar as anime raws just that you download a torrent and not an .mp4. Okay with that to know we hop in in After Effects and we have our downloaded episode of uh, in this example it's uh, Tekken Titan and what we're gonna do is create a new composition with a right click in here new composition and here it comes to the next important um, stuff for enemy mvs i most of the time use uh, 23.976 frames because it's the usual anime frame rate um, yeah and i don't want to change it Mm. For width and height, um, this is full HD for example um, and that's what I would recommend you for at least Instagram uh, edits if you want uh, this ratio. If you want square ratio of course you can go with 180 by 180 which will look like this. and. If you want 4K or 2K, um, you can go with the 4K or 2K resolution. 2K will be, for example, um, will be this ratio. This will be 2K. Um, this is only important for YouTube, I would say, because on Instagram doesn't really make a huge difference um, if you upload in full HD or 2K, especially uh, yeah, on phone. Okay, if you have this done, for example, we go in with uh, um, full HD, which is the most common resolution, I guess. Um, and yeah, we just drag our episode in, which we have here. It's full HD, so. You see the quality is really, really good. Um, and we just cut our scene out we want to use. Um, and and yeah, I already did that with uh, this scene I want to go with. Just as an example, it's not really an edit. It's just to show the quality is 
uh, good after the rendering I do and I'm gonna add some CC some color correction and some noise um, like I always do as an adjustment layer mm. like this and yeah this is how the scene looks like mm. pretty good in, in here um, we could also go with um, 2k I want to show you how I do that if I go with 2k so for example we have 2k in here you see oh the file of this is not 2k it's full HD so it's uh, smaller so what we do is go in here to effects and use detail preserving upscale shout out to Dante who told me that um, yeah basically what you can do here is fit to comp with for example and then everything scales in and for adjustment you can just copy all the effects for example or scale it in and pop paste it in here so you have 2k pretty easy for quality it's uh, it's a bit better than just scaling it up and you can reduce the noise a bit and detail yeah what I also like to add on the color correction to, to get a little bit crispier quality, sometimes the enemy is a, a bit older, like bleach or something, and you can't get full HD, then uh, sharpen is a really good effect to get some clean sharpen edges back. Um, most of the time I go with, uh, with something around 14 to 25 or something really uh, depends on the enemy um, but yeah it will help a bit increasing the sharpen if we have this done we can go on composition and add to render queue and you don't really have to care about uh, this here only necessary is the output so you want to make sure it's gonna be saved somewhere you want it to be saved <laughs> um, and yeah just leave it like that best settings full um, lossless um, and then we gonna click on Q and AME which opens everything in Adobe media encoder all right after media encoder opens uh, this file will drop in um, and you make sure this is set on there and you click on match source a bitrate all right if that opens you can see um this window and what's important is the video tab right here and okay after that you want to make a check on render at maximum depth scroll and on bitrate encoding you gonna check VBR 2 pass. Um, I'm probably not an expert in that, so correct me if something is wrong. But for me, I found out it's um, definitely the best, especially if you if you have noise or grain in your edits, to go with a higher bitrate. Higher the bitrate, higher the uh, estimated file size, um, as you can see it's getting bigger if i go on the right side um yeah if you have it on full right probably you will have the minimum loss of uh, of quality but the file size is usually way too big in that case i only have a really small um, video which is only two seconds long so it's fine but uh, usually i go with a, a middle so probably around 80 which is a good size especially if you have noise to go a bit higher on that bitrate thing um yeah also make sure to check uh, this here the maximum render quality is turned on and if you have all this stuff you can click on ok and select it and render it after that the file will render right here and you will find it in the output file you've selected right here okay 
see you right back if this is finished. All right, the edit uh, is finished um, with the rendering and we are on Facebook Creator Studio. It's just for Instagram, uh, for YouTube. Um, we just do the usual uploading, um, which is not really complicated, but for Instagram, many people ask me um, how I upload my uh, videos and which side I, I use. Um, and yeah, I think Creator Studio is way better uh, if it comes to quality compared to uploading it on Google Drive and uploading it then from your phone. So I would definitely prefer this one. Um, yeah, what you have to do to get Creator Studio or get to log in there is basically um, go to the link I put in the description and you need your Instagram account linked to an existing Facebook account. So if you don't have one, just create a Facebook account, link it and you're able to log in on Facebook Creator Studio. So if you're in here, you just go on uh, create and uh, create and post uh, for me it's in in German um, so yeah but it, it's the same thing you just click on here and then you can choose between Instagram feed and Instagram TV for me I use Instagram feed um, this is basically your caption uh, as you know from your phone um, and yeah here you can choose the video we will do that real quick which is right here um, and then it uploads it really quick depends on your internet <laughs> you can preview it in here and the best part of it is uh, it really has good quality if you upload it from there and you can choose a thumbnail which is right here you can choose either one of the frame of the edit or go in and use your own thumbnail create one and just use it it's similar to YouTube another good function in here is you can plan your edits so if you go on plan and then you, you're able to I don't know put in put a time in a date where it uploads automatically for you on Instagram and then all you have to do is um go on post now go on post now and that's it basically i hope this video helped you a bit understanding how i handle my <laughs> routine of uh, keeping my quality like that following month next tutorials see you soon